big fuzzy yak. Hi everyone, I'm Big Fuzzy Yak, and today I'm going to show you how to play the game on Railed. It is on Steam. Uh, it's a fairly cheap game, so that's nice, and it also goes on sale quite often. Uh, the game is solely, you just use your keyboard to get around. You don't need your mouse for it. I'm going to just press G to change my character. Alright, I'm sticking with the penguin because it's super cute. Um, so to start the game, we go stand up here, and we gotta press spacebar for the first time, and then we will go to online. Um, so EU because I'm in England, so that's my server. Uh, you can browse the sessions that are open or create your own. I'll create my own. Uh, game difficulties up here is what we have. So there is the versus mode, there's the inbox, there's quick mode, there's endless mode. Difficulties, it starts with uh, kids mode, then it goes to easy mode, medium mode, hard mode, and extreme mode. Here you can enable the checkpoints, and then here you can allow other players to join. So, I'll just put it on medium for now, on endless. So, the goal the goal is to get your train to the train station. On endless mode, it just keeps going. So, you go stand up here to start your game. Loads in. So, you get the robot when you start. So, we're going to take these materials here and we got to put them in there. And it's going to make the, it's going to produce the train track for us. And then we get the train track. And we'll start building it. Alright, and we got our bucket because the train, it will try to catch itself on fire. So we have the bucket there to cool down the train and put out the fires. It's really good if you keep the bucket full. Because sometimes everything gets really busy. And there won't be a, like a clear path for you to run through. So it's going to be best for you to be able to get to that bucket as soon as you can when you need it. And if you have it full and ready, then you won't be running into certain issues of your, your train catching fire and blowing up. So the robot is getting the tree resources and I'm getting these. I, I never know what to call this. Concrete uh, rock or iron. So it's turning purple so I can put out the fire before it starts. I'll go get the wood over here. Oops. Yeah. I have to say that I have to get used to the uh, controls because I'm not used to doing everything with my left hand when playing games. I'm going to break these to get more resources. He's beating up the cows. So that way they won't be in the way. Build this track. Put out the water car. Alright, go get some of these trees. If you hold shift, you can do the sprint. Get around. Alright, so keep making more track. So it usually takes three hits unless later you upgrade one of your cars to be able to get your bucket like super powered and then if you do that then it will only take one hit but you will have to be in the zone of where the bucket has a ring around it and go get some of this stop that 
So the chain station's in the bottom right. Over by where the robot is right now. So we have to get our train to the train station. As you see, there's a lot of like open space in this mode. As you get harder, there might be only one path that your train can go down. And if you don't see that path right away at the start, like you're, you're not going to pass the level. Because the game isn't that forgiving when you get to higher levels of play. <clears throat> get the tree get the wood bring the wood back train tracks yeah so it's actually a quite simplistic game which is nice it's not until a little bit later so like you also find like these bolts that are on the map that you can try to so at the bottom left there's that bolt so what the bolts do is like the currency that helps you upgrade your your train so a lot of people will try to go get them and the the train upgrades will allow you to do different things like carry more resources make tracks faster etc Mm -hmm. Oh, I can show you really quick how to build a bridge. You get the wood, and then you take the wood and you just build it like that. You build it across, and then down. My Chi Chi train is turning pink. There we go. Get some more wood. Yeah, so we'll need one more there. And then we got the bolt. See? Cows! Cows in my way. What's really funny is you can actually pick up the cows and move them if you want. I think it's hilarious. Put the fire out on the train. It's turning purple again. Oh, it's not quite ready yet. Get the resources. Now it's ready. And now it's going to go to nighttime mode. Fun stuff. Move it, cow. We need some more materials. I like how the robot just kind of like disconnected and was done. It's like, oh, it's all up to you to save the day. He's like, I got you plenty of wood. Up to you to decide what to do with it. And you usually want to have it so you have a path on both sides of your chain to walk by so that way you can get resources on and off from either side because you don't ever want to get stuck. That's one of the worst things to do is to get yourself stuck in this game. You, you don't want to sabotage yourself, especially when it gets harder on. And then we'll just bring the train tracks over here. Go up on top and get some of this wood.
A lot of times they just make piles by the track, so it's easier to grab as well. I'm trying to drop it. As I say, my space bar is not the best. And then usually people like to make a pile at the end because if you make the pile, oh, we need the bucket. If you make the pile, then you're going to start the round with all the resources that you gathered from, from the round before. So at higher rounds, you're definitely going to want that. You're definitely going to want to have a lot of track to start with because you're not going to be able to make it fast enough. And it's going to be a complete panic. Complete panic. Oops. So we've got some track there for the next round. And then just make a couple more track and get the bucket. And then we'll let the track go. Whoops. Alright. So since we have some track there, we'll just let this go. The train will go to the end. And then it will go to where you decide to buy your upgrades of the train. So here's where you're going to buy your upgrades. At the top left corner, you can see that I have three bolts. And so like this, stack size increase of two, that costs one. Capacity for the water is two. Crafting speed, that's one. You got auto mines, commodities nearby. Stores raw materials for crafting wagon. Produces dynamite. So dynamite's really useful because there, if you didn't see, there's two different kind of rock. There's the brown one and the black one. The black one you can't go through, but you can dynamite it to clear a path. So that's extremely useful. And then there's your engines later. But yeah, you can um, either stand on there to continue to go back, or you can save here and go back to the lobby. And yeah, that's how you play the game. And if you're on endless, you just see how far you can get. And the difficulty, it changes how much, like, terrain that there is. So, yeah. It's very, like, the game's very, like, simplistic and basic as to whatever you learn at the beginning of the game is basically what you need to know for the rest of the game. Except for just getting, like, the dynamite and blowing stuff up. But, yeah. It's really nice. And, you know, if you play a lot of, like, shooters and stuff like that, this is definitely a nice break away from that. And you got, like, the puzzle building aspect. You got the team building with your friends. Your friends or the randoms, sometimes they will come in and they will mess you about in this game. So I will give you that warning that some pe sometimes people will come in there and they will just proper troll you. They will come bump you out of the way so that you can't put the resources in or, or grab the, uh, the, the rail to get your train. And your train will just blow up and go boom. So I will give you that warning. But for, for the price of the game, fairly cheap. And it's simplistic and it's cute, but there's a challenge. I, I highly recommend it, you guys. I highly recommend this game. So thank you for coming to my video. I appreciate it. You know, like, follow, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you.